I think one of the reasons or the importance of First Fridays, it gives an artist an opportunity to present and show their work and also be a part of a, a community. If it was just, say, one artist showing, there's a chance that maybe they wouldn't get the turnout or the exposure. But in this case, a First Friday is like a perfect opportunity. First Friday, it's easy to remember. But what's nice is someone who enjoys art can come out and not just see one artist, but they can see many artists. I think it's such a wonderful dynamic that is created by First Friday. People that love art, it, it gives us an opportunity, you know, even myself as, as a viewer and consumer of art, uh, when I go, I can just see so much more art all different kinds and, and, and share the experience with a lot of people. So my name is David Arthur Martinez. I'm an artist. The name of the show is Amor Eterno, a celebration of Day of the Dead art. So what's wonderful about First Fridays is a wonderful opportunity to connect with people, not just people who admire art, but also people who are artists themselves. I love talking to other artists for other, other mediums. It's really interesting for me to learn about their process and, and I love sharing my process. If I can share something with somebody that will help them along their journey, no one's reinventing the wheel here, but it's nice if, if what took me 30 years to get to this point, I can share it with them in a five minute conversation and then they can take it, they can take that, what, they, what I share with them and maybe move forward on their journey because that's what's happened to me. You know, when we think about community, you know, we, even though when I paint at home I'll be kind of isolated, this is my opportunity to interact with people, to share my understanding and to find out more about their understanding. I stretch my own canvases uh, just because I like to have certain dimensions or certain size. When I was 18 and I took my first uh, class in college, I had a teacher who told me that any artist worth their salt would stretch their own canvas. And also Vincent Van Gogh, who was one of my favorite artists growing up, also stretched his own canvases. So I paint primarily or almost exclusively with acrylic. I start with a drawing, an idea. I develop it, then I will put it onto um, a transparency and I project my drawing onto my surface with an overhead projector and then I trace my drawing and then I start building up the layers. And so some of these paintings will have six, seven, eight layers of paint, but it also, to my opinion, gives it a richness. Art, you know, whether it's, it's music or movies or visual arts, you know, fine art like painting, it, it needs a larger audience uh, to be shared and to be kind of fully realized. And that's kind of this case. Um, I've been fortunate enough to, over the course of years of me being an artist, uh, meeting a lot of people and making a lot of friends. And I've had a wonderful support group uh, that, that you know, share my work and, and give me uh, encouragement and enthusiasm, which for an artist is, is really important. Uh, we do events. Uh, you know, sometimes where we sell our work and we don't necessarily always make a lot of money, but the positive energy that's shared and the encouragement uh, and the feedback and, you know, constructive criticism, it's all really important.